All right, I have no idea what I'm doing with this one. <laughs> Welcome back guys to another edition of Looted. Today we're going to be checking out the Street Fighter Pocket Operator, Teenage Engineering's first of two Capcom collaborations. And it's actually based on the PO33KO, which is a micro sampler and one of their more popular pocket operators. It's one of the ones I've been wanting to try out for quite a while, but now they've released a Street Fighter version of it, I feel like I can give the original a miss because this is instantly way cooler just because it's Street Fighter. But before we get into it, we need to shout out the people who made this video possible. Today's sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends isn't just a mobile game, it's a fully fleshed out turn-based action RPG that has hours upon hours of monster smashing, champion collecting, dragon slaying content that can be played on your phone, tablet or computer. Play through campaign mode and collect champions to build your own team of mercenaries. With over 500 to collect and tons of unique artifacts to find and equip, you can build your champions to match your playstyle. My favourite champion is Shaman, a powerful orc who deals some serious damage but also has the power to revive fallen comrades on the battlefield. She's basically the glue that holds my mishmash team of ugly trolls, scary cow people and haggard old men together. Thanks Shaman! But what do I do with all these rubbish champions that I don't want? Just feed them to the champions that you do like for an XP boost. I need to put down my device so I can play my automaton but I'm just so immersed in this game! Just use the auto battle system so you can keep destroying your enemies without neglecting the ones you love. I love the variety of massive boss fights that require different strategies to defeat but I want to fight something bigger. Join a clan and work together to take down ginormous behemoths like Demon Lord here. Speaking of clans, when you download the game be sure to join the looted clan. Just click on the clan crest, search looted and click apply to join. They've also added a load of new features including Artifact Forge where you can save time and craft artifacts directly as well as a whole new advanced quest system with amazing rewards. And that's not all, they are also bringing some amazing new champions and they're developing the amazing looking Doom Tower as we speak, which I'm super excited about. For every new player that uses our link in the description, you will get an exclusive welcome pack that contains 100,000 silver, 1 NG refill, 10 mystery shards and a free champion, Slasher, a badass lizard man who uses somebody else's skull as head protection, which is a tad intimidating. You'll find your extra rewards here in your inbox for the next 30 days only and did I mention it's free so what are you waiting for download Ray Shadow Legends today using our link in the description and here it is. There's something about pocket operators that I just can't get enough of. The simple design, the sleek colors, everything about it is just really cool. And the fact that they managed to cram so much stuff into these tiny little synthesizers is just impressive. So hats off to Teenage Engineering, you're doing a stellar job. So as I said, this is a micro sample. You can actually use the little mic up here to record samples instantly. So you can sample your voice, you can sample the sounds around you, you can sample other music, all with just this little microphone and you've got 40 seconds of memory to work with. So you can actually record some pretty hefty samples. And of course as it is the Street Fighter edition it also comes with 16 Street Fighter soundtracks as well as genuine samples from the original Street Fighter arcade game. Honestly this was quite a spontaneous purchase, I literally saw it the other day and I thought Pocket Operator plus Street Fighter, I need that in my life. <laughs> Oh, that is so rad. This display is fantastic. You've got Ryu on one side and Chun-Li on the other, and as you play the samples, they will actually do the moves. How cool is that? Oh, I can see me having a lot of fun with this. As good as the inbuilt speaker is for a tiny little device like this, let's go ahead, get it plugged in, and give it a proper listen. They're not really the cleanest samples in the world, but when you consider that they did come from the original Street Fighter, I'm sure the sounds from that game weren't exactly the highest quality, so you're not going to be able to pull the most perfect sounding samples from it. But they're still perfectly usable and they have a very nice retro vibe to them. Yes, yes, now let's go ahead and try out some of the other sounds that they have programmed into this thing. We've got kind of an old school bass sample here. Not really sure how to describe that sample. It's kind of like a funky synthesizer. Probably not the best way to describe it, but that's all that's coming to my mind at the moment. Then we've got kind of a xylophony esque sample going on here. Oh, kind of a, a flute sound going on. And then we move on to drums, and I think we've just got a. Load of different drum samples. And then we're back to some of the more famous Street Fighter sounds. Japan, China, USA, Brazil. So we've got some of the samples from the commentator. Fight, you win, lose. And there's only eight to choose from, but they're pretty solid and very, very nostalgic. You, 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 lose, win, fight. That's just fun. And then we're back to. Yeah, 
where we started. And as well as all those samples, they've also got the 16 songs from the Street Fighter soundtrack. Just hold down pattern, select one of the songs, hit play. Now let's have a crack at making our own songs and I have a feeling they're not going to sound anywhere near as good as those presets because they sounded amazing. Try making some samples of our own and luckily it's a very simple procedure. Just hold down record and hit a button in either the melodic or drum section. Both record slightly differently but let's try melodic first. Hey, but but a bow. Sure, why not? Hey, but but a bow. <laughs> So when you record a sound in the melodic section, you can use button 1 to 16 to just play different pitches of that sample. Now let's record a sample in the drum section. And this will break up your sample into eight different sections. Again, probably could have done a better job with the sample, but you get my point. You know what, I actually could probably work with that. Day number two, let's make some beats. While I was editing this video, I really noticed that I could have done with having a third camera angle so you guys could actually see what I was doing on here. There's just a lot of shots of just the side of the pocket operator. You can't really see the buttons and all that. So maybe for a future video, I'll work something out. But for the time being, I'm afraid we're stuck with what we've got. Yeah. 
Turns out, if you adjust the pitch of Chun Li's yar, it kind of sounds like you're talking to a very agreeable German man. Isn't that right, Chun Li? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and if you pitch shift Ryu's uh, it kind of sounds like you're playing Roblox. <laughs> it's, it's weird that I know what that sound is, but I've never played that game. No idea what I'm doing with this one. <laughs> I'll just call it quits while I'm ahead, and I'm not even ahead. I'm at, actually I'm at the back. I'll call it quits while I'm at the back, and then no one will notice when I leave. As fun as the Street Fighter Pocket Operator is, when it comes to the pre-programmed samples that are on here, I really can't see me getting that much use out of them. It's good if you want to add a Hadouken to your rap beat, or if you're making like a chip tuny arcadey kind of sound, it could come in useful for that. But for the most part, I think the sounds on here are just a bit too niche to be used on most projects. But the fact that you can record your own samples is something that's going to make me want to come back to this Pocket Operator in future videos. And also, those samples are actually pretty good quality when you consider that the mic is so goddamn tiny. I was really quite surprised by that. I'm still super happy that I bought this thing but I do see it kind of more like a functional collectible item rather than something that I'm going to be using on a regular basis. Chances are it's just going to sit on the shelf, look pretty and just be there for when I need a Hadouken or a Shoryuken thrown into a track. And who knows when that time will come but I'm sure it'll happen eventually. And with that I think that's going to be it for another edition of Looted. Shout out to Keegan McAdams, Natasha Savage, Pikafu, Luna and George Acock on Patreon. Thank you very much for your support and if you like this video hit like if you like all our videos hit subscribe we've got more videos on the way if you want to support the channel further check out the link in the description to our patreon page where we are now uploading monthly exclusive content join us on our discord server and we'll see you guys in the next one have a good one